<laughs> Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T Touch practitioner for animals and people. Well, the old phone won't hold the charge long enough to get through the corgi song, so we'll just have to start without it. Um, this is Tristan, he's a corgi, and this is an episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And today I want to talk about something that's not so related to dogs, but it might be which is the lessons that life gives us and to look at our lives as teachers every day, everything in our day. And I know when I'm taking a T-Touch class with Linda, we talk about the um, animals as our teachers, which of course they are. And then she talks about the assistants like me who come to help with classes as being teachers. Um, and the collection of the people there really informs what we're learning because for instance, when I'm there, we talk a lot about neuroscience, and when one of my friends is there, we talk a lot about um, traditional dog training methods and how they've evolved. So whatever the expertise is of the people that are present, that's what shapes the class. But, you know, I've had um, the passing of my father and then lots of small things happening in my life lately, and it just reminded me that you don't have to have like a roar of thunder to have a life lesson. Sometimes it's just really small things like getting a red light when you don't want to get a red light. And sometimes it's even less um, large than that. It can just be something like getting a phone call when you're about to eat your lunch that you just made. What is the lesson in that? You know, where are you not having patience in your life? Where do you need to honor your food more? Where do you need to not answer the phone? Um, what is that lesson teaching you? And it can be different for you on different days and it can be different for different people. Oh, I'm trying to get out of this glare. Um, and some of those lessons may be really small. It may be just be taking a moment to remember who you are and your place in the universe. And certainly our dogs can do that. One of the things my friends and I talk about with corgis, um, when you're standing in the kitchen, <laughs> generally, it could be anywhere, you'll be standing there and I'm sure other dogs do this too, but you'll feel this little nose come up and just tap you like, I'm here and I'd like a snack and you're right by the snacks. Could you just get me one, please? <laughs> and it's just like the cutest, most gentle, sweet thing that they do. Um, I've seen other small dogs uh, run up and sit on both hind legs and paw your leg a little bit when they want something. But this corgi thing is such a tiny reminder. Oh, the sun, I can't get out of it far enough. Um, anyway, it, it's a, a really sweet thing and something as small as that can really remind you about the presence of the dog in your life and also, you know, when my dog's there, he always wants a snack and he's real particular about which kind of snack he wants and if I give him the wrong one, he tells me again. And so sometimes that reminder might be, you know, ask for what you want. Don't be satisfied with something that's second best. You know, why not get what you want? Because you don't know how long you have or how long this dog will be here. And let's face it, my dog is not too fat to get a couple of snacks in his day. <laughs> so um, think about the small lessons in our lives, the, just the smallest things that happen um, on a day-to-day -day basis that are teaching us something about ourselves, about the universe. Um, for a lot of people, one of the small miracles can be you know, it's not even a miracle necessarily, it's a lesson. Just seeing a bird come into your backyard and singing can remind you to just to be happy about the smallest things. Um, or it could mean something else to you. One of my clients had uh, a Pyrenees dog and she's got a particular type of bird that when she's feeling really down and missing that dog's grounding presence, she sees this bird in her yard and it just reminds her to stay true to herself. So, <clears throat> You have a tiny reminder. <laughs> yes, you do. You have Pomeranians, right? <laughs> I love that breed of dog. They are really cute. My sister's actually been talking about Pomeranians. She may explore a smaller, fluffier dog. They are really adorable. Um, anyway, and so are lots of small dogs. We had a bad yesterday and gave one of our kids a French fry. <laughs> That's a good idea. Give your dog a french fry. Watch him play with it. I mean, even if it's not a french fry. I was reminded watching um, something I posted on my page, Topi having a date with his girlfriend for Valentine's Day, these corgis, and everything they eat on that is not 
a thing that my dog would eat except the meatball and Tristan is just a carnivore like he is not going to eat all those uh, fun vegetables and fruits that those corgis were having but one of the fun things to do Jim and James and I love this is to give your dog like mine he will not eat a carrot give him a baby carrot and watch what he does with it does he leave it there does he come back an hour later does he chew it up if another dog is here will he try to eat it to get it from the other dog he really doesn't like carrots he picks out the tiniest bits from his dinners he does not like carrots but um, if I'm having a hard time and just need to lighten up giving him a carrot can get me smiling because <laughs> he's just he finds them so mystical what are they here in the food department for so look at the small things in your life it can be anything you know wanting to wear your favorite sweater and finding that it's in the laundry or um, that phone call you weren't expecting that may be inconvenient or it could be convenient maybe somebody's calling you up and inviting you for lunch but look at the lessons in these little things because that's what life really is. It's a whole long learning process. And staying in touch with the idea of continuous learning can help us uh, learn more, uh, get more from life, and also stay more present, and also understand when things don't go what seems to be properly. I've had many, many things in my life that seem like big disasters, only in the long run to find out that they worked out just perfectly. I've been with many, many people and animals when they're passing away, and you kind of wish it would happen today or tomorrow, and then it doesn't, but then there's always brilliant reasons why it didn't. And so um, always look to see what you're learning, because that will help you stay grounded and keep you learning throughout your life and it will help you educate others and it will improve your connection with your dog because dogs have so much to teach us and they really are trying so hard to get our attention so much of the time so pay attention to your life pay attention to your dog and we will see you in a couple of days i am at my educator job monday wednesday thursday so i might be here tuesday or friday <laughs> thanks for joining us everybody have a great day Let's see, your dog points to the treats in case you forgot where they are. Well, sometimes I think that they think we forgot where they were. <laughs> so um, that's why they're pointing to the treats. They know where they are. I did this thing, Jim and James, you can try this. You have a lot of dogs. You have to break the treats really small. But I decided that whenever he goes to the treat jar, at any point in the day, I was going to give him a treat and see what he does. And does he sit there all day and say, give me one, give me one? No. When I'm eating lunch, he wants about three or four. At breakfast, he likes to have two. At dinner, he likes to have one. And anytime he goes outside and comes in, he gets one. But that's not continuous all day treat eating. <laughs> and he gets different treats for different things. Um, so it is really fun to feed your dogs different uh, foods and see how they do. So thanks for joining us. We will be back in a few days. Like I said, everybody have a great day and see what you can learn today.